So this is my wobble plate steam engine and it's uh, based on a design which I found on the internet wobble plate engine by Elmer and um, I decided to build this engine at twice the scale of the drawing so it actually stands at uh, approximately uh, 8 inches tall from the base I just find it easier to work at a bigger scale a um, couple of modifications I've made to it is the uh, this this pivot um, pivot lever design I wasn't too keen on the original so I've redesigned it and also the pivot lever itself originally it was a, a flat piece I've designed that so it's a, it's a turned piece from a from a square stock and uh, it's built mostly from uh, aluminium and brass uh, the, the, the uh, cylinder is brass the piston is aluminium and we have a um, piece of silver steel for the crankshaft and the crank itself is made from mild steel uh, the, the wobble plate is a, a brass disc and rather than soldering it on to, as, as was uh, in the drawings I actually turned an aluminium collar uh, with an angle on it and it, I don't know whether you can see but it's actually got um, you probably can't see it's actually attached via two M3 countersunk set screws in there and uh, I'll just uh, set it up and put a bit of air on it oh uh, just a couple of other things it's, it's got a little pin in the top which is used for lubrication so you unscrew that put a drop of oil in but I'll, I'll just do that now and that lubricates uh, both the uh, the cylinder the piston and also the uh, valve arm Oops. try that again so that that's just a little turned plug M4 plug with a gone in right with a little ceiling washer there just to close off it from the air and well it was a lovely build I really enjoyed making it actually it's taken me a long time but these things do um, got a three inch brass flywheel and uh, well I'll tell you what let's let's get some air on it shall we so I've got just a little homemade regulator nothing very special but let's get a little bit of air and we'll just turn it over as you can see it runs, runs rather nicely I'll just slow it down a touch oops nearly stopped just a little bit more air yeah, there you go and it runs beautiful and smooth obviously got the uh, The input is coming in from that side from my compressor and uh, that's the exhaust port there and so my regulator isn't particularly good as you can see it's a, you can see the wobble plate there which is wobbling in and out that of course drives the lever arm through the pivot point and operates the uh, the valve through the valve block and the valve basically has got a turned away piece in the centre so it repositions itself over the input valve to allow the air in and it reaches the bottom of the stroke closes the piston comes back up and pushes the air back out through the exhaust valve and uh, obviously repeats over and over bit more air and it runs rather rather nicely
very little vibration. I've got a little cork mat underneath simply because with my wooden bench it was sort of reverberating a little bit, making it a bit noisy. I think you'll agree that's uh, nice, nicely running. And it'll run quite slow actually as well. I turn the pressure right down. Get it down to a really nice slow tick over. Oh, a bit too slow. Just give it a restart. But it's a very nice engine. There's lots going on. A lot of movement, you can see it all happening. And it's a very enjoyable build. This is only the second engine I've ever built. My first one was a wobble, um, just a wobbler engine with a wobbling cylinder. I built that, I learnt a lot. I built this, I've learnt even more. So let's. Uh, there you go, my Elmer's Wobble Plate Engine.